Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for TheCombatSystem.com. I'm here with my, uh, my friend Vladimir. Just going to show a little drill for combatives, MMA, boxing, whatever. It's helpful to learn not to overreact to punches. To learn how to close with punches, especially for MMA so you can get to takedowns. You don't want to always like block heavy and jump outside and over slip and overreact. You want to learn to be relaxed, mentally relaxed, and be able to focus on just redirecting punches the slightest amount that you actually need. Okay, so this is a single hand salute, and then maybe I'll go to a double salute. I've done the C-Lot salute or c goal salute, you know, nicknames for it on, uh, against the step jab before. But basically, just, just kind of square up with your opponent and just go very nice and loose and relaxed, and he'll slowly feed me a jab cross. And I'm going to guide it, like I'm saluting to my head and just guide it slightly past. Now, if it was real and there was more energy, I could always step in more and close. But what I'm learning to do is just redirect, okay, just slowly moving my head off the center line and just guiding the punch, just like I'm saluting, guiding the punch, okay, right here, just slightly past. Okay, so this is really good to train the eyes, because if you can do this and not freak out, you can start slipping, okay? You can start slipping and just slightly moving out of the way of punches. So this is a good kind of beginner to advance drill to learn how to just slightly, slightly move. So that's just a drill from like a light, loose fighting stance. Okay. Also for like straight combatives, this could be like someone mouthing off to you. Now I always teach to drop a foot back. If I think someone's confronting, I say put up a fence, go to the prepared stance, get some hands up. But let's say maybe you don't, you don't realize it's a threat quite yet, but he starts to give me a jab. See, just by going here, I'll take, even if I can hit a little bit, I'm going to bleed off a lot of the energy. Yeah, he gives me a cross go. Okay. Now if it's real, will you go? Maybe I close on this guy, but I, you know, I'm closing the space on him. This is really you know, something that can help grapplers, more grappling and judo and jiu-jitsu dominated fighters, get to a, to get to a clinch situation with the cross. Okay, see, I get, get him off my throat. So you can really, you know, start going in his things. Because I, I can open him up and get to his back. Okay, so give me one, two. I can get in. You know, you're just learning how to close on your opponent. Okay? Just uh, uh, give me just one jet. Okay. Okay, so if I can single salute like this, or I can single and close, okay, again? Single and close, and maybe I can start getting the stuff and eye gouges or whatever I want to go to. I can double salute too, like this. Okay? So if I see someone really coming, I can double salute and get to his back. See, I'm just exposing him with my motion. One more time. Okay? Good. Then if I want to go to grappling or to chokes or whatever, that's fine. Maybe I'm in a fighting system. Okay? See, so double salute. It's like if a box can slip, and you can. You just so you can do the salute drill, or you can slip and do the salute drill. Back here, here, here. Okay, and here it gets across. Here, yeah. Here, here, here. So you know, I'm trying to focus on talking to you while I'm doing the drill. You really need your attention. Oh, yeah. Closing to just to get in and slip the punch. So I got out of rhythm a couple times. You really should focus on the punch. Yeah, I went the wrong way a couple times. But what's important is just the drill itself, guys. Getting your eyes and getting used to slipping. The harder we go, you see it gets bastardized in bigger motions a little bit. So you should then go back to slow and just back to here. So let's go back to slow again. You're going to guide it slowly off. Your chin. Now your corner really touches your chin. You're slowly moving your right hands. Okay. 
but it just wanted to fly. Just like I'm swatting, like, like there's an itch on my nose. Oh, I got an itch my head. Oh, I got an itch. Oh, man. My head sure itch. Wow. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm getting surprised by that in the street. You know, I'm itchy. You know, I was going to teach you this kind of stuff. Yeah, and then you can get in on him. Okay, I'm going to work from that. Uh, one or two. If I go to the one side, I'm going to go to it. If you're really feeling one better, you're going to be a hard one, too. I'm going under. You know, if, if I feel, and I'm surprised, or if I'm at, if I feel a lot of energy coming forth, that's your opportunity to, to slip and then change levels. Um, so basically, guys, just here, just nice and light. And keep your eyes open. And just see the punches coming in. Once you do single salutes, you can change stances, get into fighting stances if you want. You can do double salutes then, when the guy comes with harder energy. And see what stuff comes off of it. Okay, one more time. Just relax, hard job. And then, and then hard cross. Hard job, I guess. You'd be down already for the blast double. Hard jet. So maybe we're fighting from here, but maybe this is a good position to fight it. You know, he's right coat cracking right hand, and I'm working on a back sweep. He doesn't like that. He counters. I start to work on every naked. I jump on his back, ball of stuff. Whatever, but good for any striker because it will teach you not to over slip. Okay? You could also do this drill the opposite way. Pairing, go slow, slow jet. I can pair this way. Be working like boxing there. Excellent. So just working like that. You could do it with my, the karate flick hands. Jab Ten touches. Ten touches. You're not turning. You're not actually trying. So I could be here in force defense, then karate flick. So I'm obviously not going to stop there, I'm going to really go. But I want to show you guys how you can open them up. So it could be here, this salutes. It could be flick hands, or it could just be simple boxing style parries. Keep your eyes open, try the drill, see if you enjoy it. Thanks.